Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 002 underscore BIAB underscore N. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save as and select projects. This brings the save project as dialog box. Rename this file to 00 underscore 003 underscore DIAB underscore N. Click the save button. Now go to the architectural tab and select the wall command. Click the down arrow and select the generic select the generic 200 millimeter and click anywhere into the drawing area to start draw the wall move the mouse cursor to the left and click rivet draw the wall and end the the wall now if you want to draw another wall again all you need to do click anywhere in the drawing area and move to the other direction in this case i'm going to move down and click to place the wall but anytime that you end one segment of the wall really terminates the command to avoid this click the chain command and the chain option and start another wall move the mouse cursor to the right draw and move the mouse cursor up draw another wall you see when the chain option is checked you can draw as many walls as you like. I'm going to press escape twice to get out of the wall command. I'm going to right click the wall and select grid similar to start the wall command again. In the option bar, you see a lot of buttons in the option bar. Click this down arrow and make sure that this is set to height. And change this unconnected to first floor plan the wall location leave it to center line for the moment and start to draw another wall click the modify button on the selection panel to get out of the corner now go to the default 3d view in the quick access toolbar you see the walls have different heights the reason being that other walls are drawn in a unconnected height where the other one is constrained to the first floor plan now select all of the wall and go to the project property palette look at the base constraint it says first floor plan the base offset is zero but the top constraint is grayed out the reason being that we have selected a wall which have a top constraint of first floor plan together with a wall that have on constraint. So to correct this problem, click the down arrow and select uh, first floor plan to constrain all of this wall in the first floor plan. Now before I click the apply button or move my mouse cursor away from the property palette, I want you to focus on the project and see what will happen. You see, all of the walls have been constrained to the first floor plan, to the first floor level. Now we need to edit this wall. Click the edit type button in the property palette and click duplicate. I'm going to rename this wall to my generic. Delete the two. One hundred and fifty millimeter. Now you have just renamed the wall. You need to make the value of the wall to match up with the name. If you look at the width section, you still see two hundred millimeter. So, in the structure section, click the edit button and change this value to one hundred and fifty millimeter. Click OK. Now the name and the width value is updated to 
150 millimeter click ok click the x button in the in the top right corner of the drawing area to return to the ground floor plan now when you select the wall you see that the width of the wall has been changed to 150 millimeter go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button we're going to end this video here in the next tutorial i will continue to modify our walls if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any suggestion or any question please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye